Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, it's Monday, and as you know, every Monday uh, I put out a little video um, that deals with uh, an example of some bravery or stupidity or uh, a typical male behavior that uh, either ended in tragedy, comedy, or uh, salvation, I suppose, for lack of a better word. Uh, and, um, and that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm still figuring out what, what to call it, but I'm sure it'll have some alliteration because everybody loves alliteration. Um, so to jump right into it, uh, we pick up our first story, um, our friend Joe. Uh, we find Joe hanging off a cliff, holding onto a rope. The rope he's holding onto is tethered to his climbing partner and he's about 100 feet down off this cliff, hanging in midair. His partner can't pull him back up, and he is stuck hanging there. Oh, but it's also nighttime. It's also the middle of a freak blizzard, and uh, our friend Joe here has a really busted up leg. Like, uh, if this is his knee joint, uh, Completely, uh, he had fallen earlier. Um, basically, in the, the compression, shot his his tibia up right through his femur. Uh, his knee is completely just broken apart, and um, and it gets worse. Uh, Joe's climbing partner, realizing that he can't pull his friend up, and that any moment he's also going to fall off this cliff, and they're both presumably going to fall to their to their deaths. He takes out his. Uh, his knife and Joe, Joe's buddy there just cuts the rope. Joe falls. And when he hits the snow down below, he doesn't die. But something else happens. The snow gives way because it turns out the snow was covering a giant crevasse, a huge hole in the ice below this cliff. So Joe hits the snow, keeps falling through, falls another 70, 80 feet. Bam! Lands on top of a ledge. So now, it's the middle of the night in a snowstorm. Joe's sitting on a cliff in the middle of a crevasse on a remote mountain. He's lost an absurd amount of blood. He's completely alone in the dark. What, what, what do you do now? Um, it's a pretty horrific scenario, really, to be in. And, um, and what does he do? He looks around, he looks up, he knows he can't climb back up this crevasse. It's a sheer block of ice. Um, and, and he can't climb that with, with a, one leg as busted up as it is. And um, our friend Joe, he, it's not a surprise, but he, he does live. Um, but he says though, um, that in that moment, that, that you got to keep making decisions. Um, even if they're the wrong decisions, you got to keep making some something, some kind of decision. Um, and, and he knew that if he just stayed on this ledge, he's for sure going to die. Um, because he can wait for help, but there's no help coming for him. He's completely on his own on this. So he was terrified, but he took his rope, swung it off the edge of that ledge, and started rappelling down going further into the crevasse, which admittedly is completely counterintuitive. Um, but as he said, that was the only option he had and you got to keep making decisions. Um, and I mean, before this though, just to back up for one quick second, undoubtedly he had, he had a time on that ledge, right? Um, he had his moment of, of reckoning and he didn't give in to the emotion of that moment. He let it wash through him and then said, well, I got to keep on keeping on because by doing nothing, nothing will happen. So it was further, further down into this crevasse. Finally, his, his feet touch the hard snow down below and, and he realizes that, that he's made it to the bottom of this crevasse. And by this point, it's, it's already the next day. And as he hits the bottom, he looks up and sees a light that's that's 
breaking through a, a bit in the ice where the ice is a little bit thinner than the, the surrounding areas. And so he crawls hand over hand, over hand, over hand, makes it there, breaks through the ice, collapses onto his back, thinking, oh my God, like, how did I do that? That's not the end of Joe's story. It goes on from there, but that's the part that I want to talk about today. Why is that? Um, because uh, there's a YouTube uh, content creator that I follow. Uh, his name is Alan, and uh, he has a strongman gym in California. And he opened up his gym. It was his dream to open up a gym. And he did so when he came back from serving in the American military. Uh, he came home, he was done his deployment, opens up this gym, it was his dream. And like so many dreams, it, it, didn't, it didn't take off immediately. And, and he sat there in this little warehouse space that he had rented with some cheap equipment that he had bought. And the only people that were coming to his gym were a few friends and family members. That's it. Month after month this goes on. His bills start piling up. His parents help him out with rent. His girlfriend helps him out with rent. He starts selling gym equipment to try to make ends meet. And, and he's just thinking, oh my God, this, this is my dream and it's dying right in front of me. And, and what did he do? Well, he made a decision. He started up a YouTube channel um, because he thought, hey, if no one is going to be here in my gym for me to help them out, maybe I can help people out online. And so he did. And so he started making YouTube videos and making some content. Because again, doing something is better than nothing. And he didn't know where it was going to lead. But he's making these YouTube videos, uh, helping people out. And then through helping out some of the people online, he realized there was actually a market for people who were into strongman training, which was his passion. And so he had opened up this gym, just wanting any gym, and it didn't really serve any niche, right? Um, but he realized by helping people online, well, damn, I, I'm into strongman. This is what I'm good at. This is what I like to teach. I have strongman equipment. I should just turn my gym into a strongman gym. And so he did. And he booked a strongman competition there. And he gave out prizes and word of mouth started growing. And his YouTube channel started just taking off. Um, and, and, and so today he has almost you know, three quarters of a million um, subscribers on, the, on his YouTube channel. Um, and that YouTube channel just started out of desperation. So I think that there's a few things, a few lessons that we can take away. One is courage, right? If we're here discussing what it means to, to be a man, um, courage is one of the most universal traits that people point to that, that, a, that, that a proper man should, should have. And, and that courage doesn't mean that you're never afraid. Uh, both of these guys were afraid at one point in time, uh, one for his life and the other for his business. But you can't let that fear paralyze you. You gotta keep making decisions, keep doing something. Even if it's wrong, you gotta keep doing something. Really. So, so that's point number one. Number two is perseverance. Um, you know, there's always going to be setbacks. Always. Uh, life is full of them. But you can't let that stop you. Again, you, the, 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 the perseverance and the courage go hand in hand. you got to have that courage to, to keep persevering and say, well, I'm not going to be beaten down. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to do whatever I can do. So uh, I just want to pass those two stories on. Um, as I said, this is actually my first real video. Uh, so if you like it, please um, hit subscribe, uh, hit like, um, write a comment, and uh, let's keep this thing going, hey? See ya.